from deep in the heart of Dallas, Texas, it's the Best of the Outdoors podcast. Brought to you by Texas Fishing Game Magazine, the voice of the Texas Outdoor Nation. I'm your humble host, Dustin Vaughn Warnke, back for another podcast. And man, hello everybody in the Texas Outdoor Nation. So excited that you've taken the opportunity to download the show Stream it online however you found us. Thank you so much for doing so. We are happy to have you along for the ride. Uh, Really, really excited about the feedback I heard from yesterday's episode that I released this morning. And this morning is Friday morning. Um, This evening is Friday evening. And I am uh, recording a new show that will release on Saturday. So I'm kind of doing these a day in advance is my plan at least, and uh, hope to bring you some more content for this show that's a little bit different from stuff that we've done before, some on-the-spot interviews. I'm going to haul all my podcasting equipment around tomorrow and try to do a couple of interviews um, and kind of make a show out of that, but I wanted to definitely do some solo stuff for you like I try to do at these shows, like I did a shot show this year to give you some options of different things you can do in the hunting and fishing realm for um, the outdoors pertain to the NRA show, and uh, this has just been a fantastic show. I just cannot say enough about everything that I've seen here, all the people that I've met here. It's just been fantastic. And the first company I wanted to bring up is Tract Optics. That's T R A C T Optics. Uh, a guy by the name of John LaCourt is one of the uh, partners that I met to- with today, and they've got some fantastic scopes, uh, binos. Um, really nice rifle scopes, very crystal clear, uh, good and low light conditions. I mean, they've just got a, a whole line of different things. They're a relatively new company you may not have heard about compared to a lot of the other big scope companies that are out there, but they're up and coming, and I, I really see a lot of good potential in what they have to offer uh, to the shooter and the hunter. Um, they just really have some some unique uh, things that are uh, that are going on there. So. I uh, wanted to definitely check them out, and uh, the Toric 30mm r- r- rifle scope, and then they've got the Response, uh, the 22 Fire, a uh, handful of other products. You can look them up online, Tracked Optics, and um, they've just got some fantastic things that they're into uh, as far as um, uh, the hunting optics from, from your higher end to your higher price to your uh, kind of mid-range price. and. Uh, they've just got some fantastic things going on there, so I hope to welcome them as an advertiser to the magazine in the near future. Um, had a good meeting with them today, and uh, just really enjoyed checking out their line of optics and uh, visiting with those guys over there. So Tract Optics, check those guys out. Uh, speaking of optics, I wanted to get into another one of Red Dot Optics, and that's Holosun, H-O-L-O-S-U-N, Holosun Optics, and uh, these guys have been around for a little while. They specialize in lasers and red dots, and they have things that are little micro red dots that will fit on a uh, Glock or uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of uh, semi-automatic pistols. Uh, they also have a wide variety of rifle uh, and shotgun uh, accessories for uh, for optics and uh, red dot scopes and and that kind of stuff. Uh, red dot optics, I should say. And uh, wide variety, tons of SKUs, uh, varieties of just about any kind of need that you can think of for a red dot or a laser. Uh, these guys have you covered. They even have some uh, optics that are red dots and lasers co- combo, uh, some SKUs that have that. But uh, really impressed with what I saw over there uh, today. I got to meet with them for a little while, and uh, I've got some good things coming down the wire for them in the future as well, working with Texas Fishing Game as a sponsor. So, um, Really excited about having the opportunity to talk to these guys and uh, check out their full line of optics. I mean, they've just got a ton of different stuff at the show that I was looking at this time. And uh, I've mentioned them briefly around the SHOT Show coverage, but uh, if you're looking for a red dot optic, and this was one of the things we talked about in our meeting, if you have older eyes, and I know I realize I'm talking to kind of a younger audience because this is a podcast, but if your parents have older eyes... um, you know, and, and can't see down a scope as well. A red dot optic uh, will help with fast target acquisition. A red dot optic or a laser will help with uh, with uh, being on target, especially for hogs, especially for varmints, predators, exotics, those kind of things. Um, you can definitely use lasers or red dots on, but red dots on your deer rifle. Uh, you know, there's one company that I work with that I want to have on the show in the near future that I work with consulting on the side with, and that's Basil Pearson's, Dr. Basil Pearson's um winchester model 94 uh, scope mount 
and uh, scope rail and uh, the Rossi 92 scope rail and he has both different varieties for top eject guns and they mount forward to the receiver. The cool thing that I've noticed about what he does with his branding is so many people that have almost given up shooting a lever gun for instance, almost given up shooting a lever action rifle because their eyes are just too old to see those those iron sights anymore. A red dot has brought them back in the game. You know, it's made them deer hunters again. It's made them uh, shooters again. It's made them accurate with uh, with their rifles and 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 definitely squeezing potential that they normally would not have with iron sights because of red dot optics. And that's one angle that we talked about with Holo Sun having the. Um, idea of of aging eyes whether it be your parents whether it be your own whatever the case may be um you know just having that option to have a red dot or a laser or whatever you want to do sometimes both on a gun is uh, is a great opportunity to uh to do you know some hunting and and uh shooting uh related sports uh around you know um a new a new optic you know so it's just a good idea to check out but holo suns easy to find on the internet you can just google them and you can find their uh, website and they've just got a wide variety of different red dots uh different types of optics that they've got there so really cool also stopped in and met with crossman i'm going to try and i mean try i'm going to try i've got an appointment set tomorrow at the show to um to visit with uh jay duncan who's one of the um, uh, marketing experts there at Trossman and LaserMax. And we're going to meet at the LaserMax booth and try to record a little bit of a show together about some of the things Crossman has. They've got a really cool uh, AR-15 style um, BB gun and uh, that shoots uh, just incredibly fast and is just a fantastic uh, uh, gun to have around for an air gun. Uh, obviously, the Pioneer Airbow, which I've talked about on this podcast and other podcasts that I've guest hosted on, um, fantastic uh, shooting a full length arrow at 250 feet per second at uh, at big game. They will be le- legal most likely unless some legislation changes before then, but they will be legal to hunt deer in the fall of this year of 2018. So that should take effect in September when the uh, legislative session or the fiscal year, I should say, for the state of Texas and Texas Parks and Wildlife turns over. And uh, for this coming deer season, that should be a lot of fun to watch people take uh, wild game, native and exotic, uh, with a Pioneer Airbow. So I wanted to definitely mention that. Center point crossbows I've always talked about as being a great value uh, for the for the price. They're kind of compact models of uh, of crossbows, and then uh, center point optics as well. Um, whole line of, uh, of 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 rifle optics, air gun optics, and that kind of stuff. And then they have um, you know big bore air guns, small bore air guns. Uh, just a wide variety of different uh, air guns there in the Crossman booth. And the cool thing about it is that a lot of them are silenced. A lot of them have built-in suppressors or uh, suppressors and spring-loaded or uh, PCP air guns. And uh, they've just got a wide variety of different things there. I just really love what's going on in that world. And let me get into saying this as well before I get much further. I don't go through when I do these shows and review your Springfields and your Glocks and your... Um, Smith and Wessons and your Colts and all these other things that that are such popular, such popular uh, firearm brands. Just because I like to give you something a little bit different, I like to give you something a little bit that not everybody else is talking about. And my big deal is crossbows and air guns, as most of you guys know. When I talk about stuff on this show uh, and getting kids involved at that level of uh, simple shooting, simple wins, those kind of things, uh, when it comes to uh, to starting kids out in the outdoors the right way. Um, you know, the thing that's different about this industry compared to just about anybody, uh, any other industry is that things are so good now. There's not, if you ask me, Dustin, what's the best, you know, pistol? Is it a Glock? Is it a SIG? Is it a Springfield? Is it a uh, Colt? Is it a Smith and Wesson? Is it a Taurus? I mean, there's so many companies out there that cover the spread on these things that have all kinds of great things. My whole goal with this show is to bring you something that is a value that's a different kind of off the beaten path stuff that you may not hear from every other podcast you listen to or every other radio show or whatever you're listening to or watching YouTube or whatever. Um, you know, I just want to bring you something that's a value that's different. And that's why I'd like to visit the companies that I do. Um, the next one I want to talk about getting into ammunition for firearms. I've got a, um, a little brochure that I picked up from Norma Ammunition. I look forward to doing some business with them in the future as well. They have the Tip Strike Instant Stop Perfect Ending uh, 
loaded ammunition. And uh, they claim it's 100% deadly, superior accuracy, medium to big game rated. Um, this is a polymer tipped um, uh, bullet and uh, it's got great expansion, uh, tip inserted for better expansion. Thin four jacket provides devastating shock. Lead lock guarantees good penetration. 75% weight retention. Leader over the competition is what they claim. And I got to in inspect some of this stuff firsthand. Colorado Buck was in the booth. And I uh, want to go back tomorrow and try to meet him and get some FaceTime with him because he's an awesome dude. He's just a crazy guy. I love this guy. Watch a lot of his stuff. I forget if it's on the Pursuit channel or the uh, the Hunt channel. But anyway, if you've not checked out Colorado Buck, he's one of their spokespeople and is just a fantastic hunter. Travels all the way all over the world, uh, Africa and beyond, and he uses Norma ammunition wherever he goes. So Norma is a premium hunting line of ammunition. Uh, they, like I say, have this tip strike which is a uh, unique, um, uh, you know, expandable ammunition that's built for hunting big game. And they also carry a lot of different uh, game for our uh, ammunition for going abroad to Africa and places like that. Uh, New Zealand, wherever you go abroad to hunt outside of Texas. But they're wanting to do a big Texas push this year. And Texas is one of the states that uh, they want to work with us in. And the cool thing about NRA being in Texas this year is I got to talk to them about all the cool exotics that we have in Texas. Neil Guy being really big game uh, to Elon to Axis, Fallow, Psycho, Black Buck, uh, Wild Hogs, uh, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully get the chance to work with them some more. And um, really, really tune in a message of, um, of, of their ammunition for our, for our uh, you know, uh, Texas audience. So really excited. If you've not checked out Norm Ammunition, there are a few dealers in Texas you can get that. You can also Google them and find them online and buy their ammunition from certain retailers online. But Norma makes a fine, fine, fine. And the thing is, a lot of these guys make really good ammunition, but Norma is really, you know, uh, Bit specializes in big game ammunition and center fire ammunition for firearms and uh, really has a, a lot of wide variety of things to uh, to offer there but the tip strike was one that caught my eye tonight um, when I was going back through my notes and everything and I wanted to definitely mention that so Norma ammunition check out those guys online or elsewhere and uh, you can purchase some of their stuff from your from your favorite ammo retailer um, back to optics wanted to talk real quick about Sightmark and Pulsar. I stopped by and visited these guys today and had a fantastic meeting with um, one of my contacts over there and really, really got to investigate some of their new stuff. Sightmark is coming out with a new uh, first focal plane uh, scope that is going to be under a thousand dollars actually well underneath a thousand dollars and it is one of the coolest optics I've had the chance to look through uh, it's just it's perfect for air guns because first focal plane is, is a big deal for guys like Eric Henderson it's one of the guys I've interviewed on the podcast before but first focal plane scopes are going to be a little bit more expensive but this one is very well made uh, and uh, I, I forget I think it's called the Citadel or the Century or something like that it's I think it's a Citadel um, and that it's coming out here in the near near future from Sightmark, and uh, just got fantastic things to say about this company. I own a Core HX um, scope on my 270. It's one of the clearest optics that I own. Great in low light conditions and very affordable. I think it was under $200. I think is what I ended up paying for it, or maybe a little bit over $200 when I bought it. But uh, they have the Core HX series that came out a few years ago or a couple of years ago. And then the fantastic uh, wide variety of Pulsar uh, night vision optics. And uh, they've just got some great opportunities going on there with night vision. Um, Pulsar is, is using Sightmark and Cellmark is one of the, um, the main hubs that they um, market their products through in America, in the North America region. And uh, I've got a lot of good things to say about them. Seen a lot of things by guys like Todd Huey with Lone Star Boars. I don't know if you've ever checked out his YouTube channel. He's got about 32,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Lone Star Boars, if you just Google that or come up with that on your YouTube, you'll find Todd Huey's page. And he has an optics uh, site called Huey Outdoors I wanted to promote for him. 
um, because he's kind of becoming a new hub for for night vision and thermal optics. And uh, Pulsar and Sightmark Photon are two of the things that he's going to be carrying on his website. It is carrying on his website now. Uh, but the Pulsar has a wide variety of great uh, nighttime optics. And then uh, Sightmark has a Photon. They have two different Photons that came out with a couple of years ago. Great for night vision. Very, very affordably priced for night vision optics. And, um, and and just uh, just fantastic things to say about that for hog hunting. I just got off the phone with my friend Danny Berry at DB Hunting Ranch, and we we're talking about getting a uh, thermal or a night vision scope for uh, one of our ranch guns and selling uh, thermal hunts. So I'll have him on the podcast or night vision hunts. I'll have him on the podcast soon to talk more about that. But that's one of the things I've kind of been uh, talking to him about is doing some some nighttime hog hunting with uh, thermal or night vision. So that's a really good good thing there too but um sight mark has just got a wide variety of great scopes uh they're a texas company they're based right here in texas out of mansfield close to where we have the uh air gun show texas air gun show uh and that's coming up in june this year so if you've not done some market calendars i believe it's june 23rd it's a saturday it's just a one-day show and uh, if you want more information about that contact me through facebook uh, last name is spelled w-a-r-n-c-k-e uh, or dustinsprojects.com. You can email me through dustinsprojects.com or warnkeyoutdoors.com, and uh, I will get you the details on the air gun show, which is held at the Arlington Sportsman's Club, I believe, in Mansfield, Texas. And I've gone several years now to that show. It's been going on four or five years now, and I uh, I love it. I take my son uh, every year here lately, and I uh, get him shooting some air guns, and it's just all air guns. It's like a firearm show, but it's all air guns. It's awesome. Air Force Air Guns is there, and I'll talk about them some tomorrow uh, when I hopefully have some interview stuff. Um, that also brings me to Air Force Air Guns. I wanted to mention the uh, wide variety of BKL Technologies uh, scope mounts that they have. Picatinny rails, weaver rails, dovetail adapters, all kinds of different things there for your air gun. Um, and then they, they have a air gun optic um, dovetail rail that runs on most of their air guns, top and bottom. And you can get uh, dovetail to Picatinny rail uh, mounts that you can get for um, for your optics that way uh, to mount your lasers, your uh, red dots, your flashlights, and all that kind of stuff that you do for night hunting. Uh, or on the run gunning hunting, uh, or uh, what am I trying to say? On the on the running gun hunting, uh, on the go, and uh, some really great opportunities there to uh, to to check out uh, some of the things that they have with BKL Technologies and Air Force Air Guns. If you're looking for optics for your air gun or anything else. Um, can't say enough about Air Force. They've gotten into uh, 257 caliber, the big bore, um, 308, 357, and 45 caliber Texan, and the 257 is new for this year. And um, I think the law is going to go through for sure for Texas to be able to do. And I'll talk about this some in the next podcast. I think if I can get the interviews right with people, but the legislation's been pushed through and approved. There was one little hiccup after that. Um, and, uh, we'll see what happens with that. But basically, uh, air guns should be legal to hunt, uh, during the, uh, 2018 hunting season for native games. So for white tailed deer, obviously for exotics and hogs, but for white tailed deer, turkey, so on and so forth, native game, um, you have pronghorn antelope, so on and so forth. You have the option to hunt with an air gun as long as it's 308 or 30 caliber or larger. Um, it's a fantastic idea. I've already bought a sling for my Air Force Texan and uh, got a sling on order for my Talon P. And uh, Talon P I use for plinking and for uh, shooting in the backyard and for shooting at the gun range and just practicing my trigger control and breath control and everything like that. But the, ta the Texan is 45 caliber. If you watched any of my YouTube videos, I've killed a nice hog with it on camera before and uh, Air Force uses that footage in their promotional video, which I'm really excited about to uh, see my, my hog being... Uh, being shot on uh, on uh, one of their promo videos, and uh, just they're also making all these guns suppressed now. So uh, this costs a little bit more for the integrally suppressed the part, but you don't have to have a silencer uh, stamp or a class three stamp at all for a suppressed air gun, uh, integrally suppressed or a moderator, uh, external moderator. Uh, it's just a different world that's not firearms regulated by the ATF, and uh, that's a good thing. So. Um, if you want to check them out, Air Force Air Guns, I'll try to talk some more about that tomorrow when I interview some of their guys, if I can get them on the microphone. I uh, also wanted to talk about uh, Hotson. I had a meeting with them today. Uh, they've got 
wide variety of different air guns. One of the things that they're well known for, I'm picking up my hot sun brochure here, the Hercules Bully, uh, that runs from 177 caliber to 45 caliber, and uh, really interesting looking gun, very, very uh, otherworldly, I would say, uh, just like the Air Force air guns are. And then the Flash QE, which is basically a uh, 177 caliber to 25 caliber and 22 caliber, me and in between there. Um, awesome gun to check out uh, if you come to the NRA show this weekend. But I'm just giving you the the the, the live and hot you know stuff of what I kind of saw. It took it caught my eye today. They've got other air guns as well, but uh, Hot Sun's another good air gun company, just like. Uh, Crossman and uh, Air Force, and uh, I'm probably leaving some out. There's FX, there's uh, uh, Air Venturi, there's a wide variety of other air gun companies out there that are all good. The nice thing about what we're dealing with, like I said earlier about firearms, is yeah, asking me if you like the best rifle, you know, is it a CZ USA? Is it a uh, Winchester? Is it a Savage? Is it a uh, Remington, you know, they're all good. That's the nice thing about the world that we live in now is unless you're talking about, you know, a cheaply made uh, Saturday night special weapon um, or Saturday night special rifle or shotgun or pistol or whatever that's just cheaply put together and very low cost. You don't really have to have worry about products, you know, failing on you like you did back in the day, way back in the day. Um, when I was first growing up and getting into this world of uh, outdoor shooting, I mean, it, it, things are so much better now than they've ever been. And that's the joy of what we have with air guns and crossbows and rifles and pistols and shotguns and so on and so forth is that uh, it's, it's the golden age. And I've said that before on the show and you're probably tired of hearing it, but here it is again. Um, I just, I love sharing this with you guys because it's, this is just a really great time to be alive right now. I uh, also wanted to mention, back to ammunition, G2 ammunition, uh, G and the number 2, you can look them up online. They've got a wide variety of uh, handgun ammunition and rifle ammunition for both uh, semi-automatic and revolver, for the pistol, for the handgun side. And then for rifle, they've got um, 7.62x39, 308 um, uh, 223 wide variety of different things they their ammo looks and reminds me of a starfish when it expands and that's what you really want out of your ammunition for it to really expand well and uh, and and penetrate well and uh, and do its right thing in ballistics gel on tests and that kind of stuff and that's one thing that these guys have done very well in the um, regards of um, of uh, ammunition manufacturers they made really really good bullets that do their job i actually have my mail key that i use at home is uh on a um civic duty r.i.p rip out um uh bullet that is uh that i picked up from our show a long time ago maybe two or three years ago from um from the g2 research people so chris nix is a great guy i've talked to him many times he's the guy that kind of heads up that company and uh they just have got some great ballistic gel um uh showcases that they show of their ammunition in performance mode and then their ammunition as it is expanded and then their ammunition before it expands and uh just really impressed with this company what they do for self-defense loads for sure because I certainly would not like to get shot with one of those because they uh, they definitely open up and they call them the the Trident rip out or the RIP and uh, they they really leave a massive hole uh, in whatever they shoot so uh, it's great for self defense great for hunting uh, another good ammunition company to consider G2 Research uh, G2 Ammo um, so definitely check those guys out all right. Also moving along, I wanted to talk about uh, somebody I'm going to meet with tomorrow, and that's Timney Triggers. Uh, if you've never tried a Timney Trigger and never really had the opportunity to test one out, uh, I recommend them. I recommend them because they make some two-stage triggers, some single-stage triggers, some triggers for things like my beloved Mosin Nagant. I'm getting ready to own my seventh Mosin Nagant in my gun safe uh, that my dad just picked up for me from a friend of his, and it turns out it's a very rare version of a Mosin Nagant, but uh, they make drop-in triggers for a uh, wide variety of different rifles and pistols and uh, AR-15s and so on and so forth. Um, if you've never tried one, they're worth the money. I can tell you that much for sure. There are a lot of trigger companies out there, but uh, this one is really um, one that has impressed me very well because it is it is constantly uh, a testament to they have you know um, triggers for just about any gun you can think of. Uh, if it's your Remington 700, if it's your Winchester Model 70, uh, if it's your uh, your your um, you know AR-15. 
Um, Mosin Nagant, Mauser, so on and so forth. They've just got a trigger for just about anything, and they're fantastic uh, value. Uh, because, you know, I've said this before about triggers. It's one of those things that will improve your accuracy tremendously if you move into a, you know, let's say a, a military trigger versus a Timney trigger. Uh, will make you a better shot. It'll ring more performance out of your gun and ring more accuracy out of your gun overall inherently because you're not pulling too hard on that press of your uh, finger for your uh, for your for your um, for your gun. Um, so when it comes to triggers, I definitely recommend Timney to check them out because they've got, and their triggers aren't cheap, but I mean, it's one of those things where do you want to shoot in comfort? Do you want to shoot accurately? Do you want to ring the best performance you can out of your gun and getting a dropout trigger, real, a drop in trigger really does that well. And I wanted to definitely recommend you check them out. If you go to the show or if you just listen to me, uh, talk about it, this is a great place to, uh, to learn about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm also going to meet tomorrow with Magpul, and um, they've got fantastic, fantastic um, AR-15 accessories, AK-47 accessories. I mean, if you're into guns at all, you probably have heard of Magpul. Um, get to meet with them tomorrow. I'm really excited about that, and uh, they've just got some fantastic lineup of magazines, uh, AR accessories, um, you know, you name it. I've bought a lot of Magpul things over the years and I uh, want to definitely give them a shout out as well because they've got just all kinds of different things going on there. Uh, so Magpul, you can check them out. Magpul Industries, you can check them out online. Uh, also, something that it caught my eye that I wanted to bring to you and I've got a couple of things here that I'm going to close the show with since we've been going for a little while. Um, Ergo Grips is one that I met with uh, that I uh, that I've been talking to a while now, and I've noticed them since the first shot show or for first uh, what am I trying to say first uh, NRA show that I attended. They've got some really cool um, grips, but they've also got some AR uh, rail covers, um, M lock, four slot wedge locks um, that basically. Uh, cover your whole gun except for the receiver portion and part of the receiver portion even uh, with different colors and different patterns and all kinds of different it's kind of hard to explain what they have but they basically have uh, wedge locks they've got uh, rail covers they've got grips and they've got whole color coded combinations that you can buy for your AR-15 or uh, grip for your AK-47 or whatever the case may be. But you can mix and match these things. You can uh, change the color of your AR-15 completely uh, just by using some of their products. And I definitely want to give them a shout out. Ergogrips.net. That's E-R-G-O grips.net. Uh, you can check them out, and uh, they've just got some really cool stuff. I mean, you're really taking your AR-15 and customizing it, which a lot of people are doing with Cerakote and all kinds of other things. Uh, they have the Elite Series and uh, a couple of other series of different uh, Ergo grips and Ergo accessories for your AR-15, and I highly recommend I'm on their mailing list. They do giveaways all the time. They're big on Twitter. Uh, I'm, I follow them pretty pretty well uh, in social media, and they've just got some really cool ideas for uh, dressing up your AR-15. So wanted to definitely throw that out there too. Last thing I wanted to talk about today is, oh, by the way, I forgot on the airgun side, Pyramid Air is here. I picked up one of their catalogs. They've got all of the different um, companies. And the one I didn't mention to you earlier was the Umarex. Um, they have the Umarex uh, Big Bore, the Gauntlet, uh, and I think their Big Bore is, uh, that's their small bore is the Gauntlet, I'm pretty sure. And then the Hammer is their is their big bore and uh, they've just got a wide variety of different things so pyramid air they have the pyramid air gun range which i've not been to yet but they're at every show and they have a wide variety it's like a shooting gallery in there man it's air guns it's a range and it's a bunch of different targets you can shoot at with pistols and rifles and uh all air guns and it's so cool to get kids and see kids liven up on stuff like that because there's just a wide variety of different things you can get your kids involved to in, in the shooting sports and bringing them to an air gun range like this is just fantastic. If, if you have a 22 range at home, most likely it's rated for air guns. Um, I just can't say enough about why I like air guns so much. You guys have heard all this from me, but there you go again. Uh, Pyramid Air, P-Y-R-A-M-Y-D Air uh, Gun Mall. Uh, they carry all kinds of different air gun accessories. Uh, 
I wanted to definitely give a shout out to them. And uh, hopefully with the air gun laws passing in Texas and uh, there not being any major issues with the air gun laws in Texas, um, they will, uh, they will uh, they'll work with us hopefully in the future and do some digital stuff with us. But really love that company. They've got a great heart. They carry all kinds of air gun ammunition and uh, accessories and that kind of stuff. So that's great. Last thing I wanted to mention on this show, Safe Shoot, a company out of Israel. And I know the agency that is working with them out of California, um, they've been talking to us for over a year now, and they're just coming to fruition on the product Then hopefully will be running an ad with us in Texas Fishing Games starting in uh, October, I think. They will have product by September from what they told me today when I met with them. But what this is basically is imagine a gun that has a side-mounted optic-looking device on it that basically controls the shooter or tells the shooter, notifies the shooter if there's a alert down range of a person, of an animal, or of a thing that, that you need to steer clear of. And what you do basically is mount this on the side of your weapon and uh, basically um, uh, turn it on. They have little devices that you can put on uh, people or on things or on animals that are going to be mobile. Um, so you make sure you do not shoot in an unsafe way, in an unsafe direction. And uh, they're good, I think, out to a thousand yards. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's got a fantastic um, re, uh, visibility as far as, uh, yeah, 1,000 yards. I'm right. I just opened up their, their thing. Safe shoot devices detect other devices up to 1,000 yards, even if they are not in your party. Uh, so basically anything that has a safe shoot device on it has a safe shoot uh, they, they have things for shooters, they have things for dogs, they have uh, all kinds of different safe shoot accessories that you can get. And basically what you do is you mount this on your gun and it notifies you if there's somebody downrange that, uh, that is of danger of you shooting them. Um, I think it's a fantastic product. It's, it's using Israeli uh, military, um, uh, what do you want to call it, military technology. And uh, it's just fantastic on keeping people safe, keeping animals safe, keeping things safe that you don't want to shoot down range up to a thousand yards. And I think it's fantastic for long range shooting. I think it's great for camping. Um, if you're going out camping and hunting and uh, want to make sure you keep everything in the campsite, if you're shooting in a safe direction at all times, this is a fantastic uh, product. Uh, you can check them out on uh, the website. I think you can Google it and uh, it will come up. Uh, for you safe-shoot.com that's safe-shoot.com and they've got a whole um, whole company everything based in Israel but they've got an agency that I'm working with here in the states to help bring their product to fruition it's kind of cool being part of something like this in its beginning stages because it's something I think it's been a long time coming I think it's something that is of value to the shooter because uh, we all are big about safety when it comes to firearms when it comes to air guns when it comes to anything crossbows anything like that that's going down range we definitely want to keep our loved ones and our loved things safe and uh, this is one way to do that so I wanted to give a big shout out, shout out to Safe Shoot USA and Safe Shoot headquarters in Israel uh, you check them out again, safe-shoot.com to learn more about what they are. And their logo is Securing American Firearm Environments, Hunting Homeland Security Military. So that's really cool with what's going on there. All right, so next podcast, I plan to have some on-location stuff. I'm in my hotel room right now, if you can hear by the echo. Um, I'm in my hotel room today, and I'm going to hopefully be in the press room tomorrow with a podcast interview and then maybe on location in a couple of different places uh, recording some shows, uh, just recording some segments, if you will, and putting them together for our next show. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I gave you some uh, about 33 minutes or so of um, – of different stuff uh, to think about and um, consider for your next firearms purchase, for your next air gun purchase, whatever the case may be. Um, really enjoy doing this show. This is one of my favorite shows of the entire year. Um, it's fun. It's consumer based. So there's all kinds of people here from all walks of life. Uh, people in wheelchairs, people on scooters, people that are uh, dressed weird. Um, it's just anything goes. There's a, today uh, was at the CZUSA booth, and there was a guy 
that was carrying around a balloon animal caricature, I guess is the best way to explain it, of Donald Trump. Donald Trump actually came today here on Friday. You probably saw this on the news. Uh, I believe uh, Vice President Pence was here as well, but I know Donald Trump made a surprise visit here to the ILA um, NRA uh, meeting, and that was a sold-out deal, and uh, it was great to, to hear him speak on the... Um, on the uh, the monitors that I was listening to, I was in the exhibit hall and meetings all day, so I didn't have a chance to go and see uh, the president speak. But regardless of what your politics are, it's kind of cool that he's a Second Amendment supporter and um, and all that fun stuff. So um, you know, the thing that I've noticed since Shot Show is that I've seen this industry really come back in a lot of new ways. I've seen. Um, a return to a lot of the folks that used to advertise with us coming back to advertise with us that have the funds to do so now because the industry has picked up in sales again and that's a very encouraging thing to see as a trend in the industry so I'm really excited about that uh, if you've not done so already please check out our website fishgame.com that has all of these podcasts if you go to fishgame.com forward slash podcast has all of our podcasts on there subscribe to the show give us a review on iTunes Stitcher Spotify iHeartRadio wherever you're seeing the or listening to the podcast hearing the podcast seeing the podcast uh whatever you're doing please uh give us a review that helps other people find the show and i got to meet cable smith today who is the host of the lone star outdoor show and uh, his he's got a podcast and a radio show that uh that that broadcast on uh, several different country radio stations all around texas and beyond and his podcast can be downloaded anywhere if you've not done so go listen to his podcast he's got a great fantastic radio show uh, slash podcast that uh, airs every week and uh, I believe it airs on Saturdays for the radio show and then the podcast is available anyway on demand and got to meet him hope to have him on the podcast soon as a guest because he's a wealth of information they cover such diverse topics on his on his podcast and show and I uh, love to have him on so if you're not given the Lone Star Outdoors podcast or Lone Star Outdoors show uh, radio show a listen he's definitely be a good one to check out and I got to meet him at the site mark booth today um, so that was a good fun there. So thank you so much again for watching, reading, and listening. Have an awesome day in the outdoors. We'll see you next time.